Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel and welcome back to another video. So I'm sitting outside on my porch. You can't see much of the porch though because I have the camera really close. But it is a nice, it's kind of cool outside today so I thought I would come out and do my Wellness Wednesday video outside. The kids and I are just getting home. I don't have a lot to update on this week but I did want to just share kind of some things and where I am for this week. So, um, again, remember, I am doing this Wellness Wednesday video kind of like Tangie. I said, hey, I like the way you do yours. Do you mind if I do mine that way? She's like, girl, do it. So, if you're new here, my name is Shakima. Hey, y'all, how y'all doing? And I've been doing a ketogenic lifestyle for about nine months now, but I started over May 1st so I could track all of my weight loss and inches and pounds and all of that. I didn't do a lot of that in the very beginning. I just was feeling good and kept going but this time I want to make sure that I'm tracking appropriately so May 1st I started my weight loss journey again on keto I've been staying keto I've been eating keto foods but I am not getting it all of my fats in I think that's where I'm, I'm missing some stuff so um, I'm really trying to focus. I have about three more weeks of work, and then once we work is over, because I'm a teacher. Well, I teach in the school. I'm in the school system. I'm not a teacher anymore, you guys. I keep forgetting. I'm not a teach. I'm not in the classroom anymore. Um, I am actually. I lost the earring. What? What is life, friends? Where's my earring? Okay. Well, I'm take the other one out since I don't know where both of them are. Mm. Um. So I am actually not teaching in a classroom. I'm actually in a coordinator's position. So I am at different uh, schools throughout the day. There's Alana, she's back there. Can you see her? There she is, there she is, there she is. Probably not, she's in there. <laughs> anyway, so how did my week go? I had a pretty good week. I, I didn't feel like I didn't have an, a, a good week of eating. I had a lot more treats than normal and let me explain to you why that happened so last Friday which was May the 4th no last Friday was May the 10th sorry May the 10th we did a keto collab and I collab with Tangie from Freedom Homestead Steve from Keto Steve Jen from in with Jen and Michelle from my own identity and we all had it was like keto chopped so you had to find uh, we had some ingredients and then we had to make um, a dish or use that in our meal prep some kind of way so I went all out we had truffles we did um, almond butter cookies we did brownies and I had all of those treats in the house and I am one that not I don't make things just for the collab like I want to eat them you know I don't want them to go bad I spent a lot of money on those ingredients so I had a lot of treats. The kids didn't like the brownies. I love the brown. Well, Jackson liked them. Alana didn't. I love the brownies. So I had brownies. Brownies. They were keto brownies, but I had them. And then I had one or two truffles. We tried the almond butter cookies, I think, because we used the swerve, and that's really nice and sweet, and so to speak. It was too sweet and too sweet to eat. So we um, did not finish all of the peanut butter cookies, but then Jackson always makes the pecan pralines from Southern Keto Cookbook. And let me just say this, if you have never had the pecan pralines from Southern Keto Cookbook, you don't know what you're missing. And let me tell you, I can tell you what you're missing because I have had the pecan pralines from the Southern Keto Cookbook and they're just lovely. And so I had that and then I had made some with some almonds. So I had that, so lots of treats for me this week. I did still eat good. We made a lot of good meals. We had the easy chili last night. We had the beef and broccoli casserole from Southern Keto. We had um, collie mash with roast, uh, Mississippi roast on Sunday. So we've had good meals, but I had a lot of treats. And I'm saying all that to say that treats aren't necessarily good for me. What I realized, um, because I, I no longer have a cycle, but my body still feels like it's in a cycle, meaning, you know, when you need that chocolate fix or you not, you just have to snack, and I have had to snack. I had Halo Top ice cream, and I have just had to snack because I think this is the week, if I were going to cycle, that this would be my cycle week. Even though I don't have it, my body still feels that way. So, 
I ate good, but I had a lot of snacks. With all of that being said, I got on the scale this morning. Last week, I was 164. No, I was 160. No, sorry. I was 196.4. This week, I am 198.2. So I went up 1.8 pounds, or whatever 1.8 pounds is from 196.4, I'm up 1.8 pounds. But again, I still feel like this would be my cycle week, which means I'm always going to be heavier in my cycle week. Um, also, my digestion is not acting right again. So I am going to try to decrease my dairy, meaning my heavy cream and my coffee. I'm probably just going to have that once a day or not at all and just have black coffee for a while. Um, I may even just cut out coffee for a little bit and do tea. So I'm going to make that, I'm going to figure that out because I don't want to have too much. Now we're not doing a lot of keto treats this next week coming up. We'll do one or two. I think we're going to try to do the almond butter cookies again and just not use as much sweetener. One other thing I wanted to share, I was watching a a video this week of Dr. Barry. I don't know if you watch Dr. Barry, but um, he does keto. Him and Dr. Berg are pretty big, and he was talking about calories and portion size. Because I know portion size is is a difficult thing for me. I realize that I eat a lot of food, even though I'm only eating one or two meals a day. Because when when I eat keto foods, I'm pretty full. But he said, stop worrying about portion size which I have to wrap my mind around that because I could eat a lot of food. He says the thing is to eat whatever meal you're going to eat, whether that's two meals or three meals, or if you're going to do intermittent fasting, and don't snack, don't graze. And this week, that's what I have done. I have grazed, I've snacked, I've packed snacks in my lunch box and so I've had snacks I take my my lunch to work every day I don't buy anything in the cafeteria um, because I'm still at school every day but I just pack my lunch and we usually have leftovers but I have had a lot of snacks and so that was not good for me this week so moving into next week I am going to try to decrease the number of snacks and I'm going to try to increase my water intake, which I haven't been doing well at. I drink coffee all day, but water I don't get in as much and I need to do that just so my body can process and digest the foods that come in. So moving forward, my plan is to decrease my snacks, increase my water, and now that it's staying lighter longer, on the days that we're able to come home right after taekwondo we are going to get ma'am out on her uh, leash and walk her my mom has a wheelchair and we're going to just walk her around the neighborhood she's never actually been around our neighborhood she's come to our house and this is as far as she's gotten so she can't stay off her oxygen very very long but we can get her out at least for a few minutes and just walk her around which will give us some steps to get in and then we'll bring her back to the porch because she can do her oxygen here we do have ma'am out on the lead rope so that gets her outside the kids and I are just coming out we're getting out of the house we're coming outside we're going to enjoy this beautiful home that the Lord has given us and this beautiful yard and this nice neighborhood that we live in so that is our plan moving forward um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else I wanted to say about keto I haven't found any new discoveries or new products or anything like that this week Hey, let your neighbors live. Let them be gray. Leave them alone. Leave them. Hey, her half of her. Hey. Anywho, I haven't found any new res uh, recipes. I actually haven't had time. Um, I've been trying to work and take the kids. The kids have had extra Taekwondo practices because they are going to be the halftime show for, um, there's a dance company. They do their fall, I mean, they're in the Ma'am. 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 They do their end of the year concert and the kids 
um, are asked to do the halftime show and they have three shows they have to do and my kids are on special teams which is the team that does the halftime show so we have had extra practices and I just haven't had a chance to go through my um, menu binder or recipe binder to see you know what new meals I want to make we're kind of eating the same things which is fine we like the same things with no problem but anyway I am going to try to focus on that next week to really see what I can um, what meals I can pull together that are good macros very keto friendly um, to keep us on track right now we're getting ready to do a, a freezer challenge not a pantry challenge my pantry is pretty bare but my freezer is very full and because hurricane season is coming and I don't want to lose food like we did last year I'm actually going to start eating that food down that's in the freezer we're still going to shop some and we're going to do videos on the on the freezer challenge but I actually want to eat what is in there and recycle some of the things that we have so that we're not losing food on the you know just in case we have hurricane here like we did last year prayerfully we know but so anyway I gained this week it's just what it is um I think Tangie said something last week in her video or maybe it was a couple weeks back that was just very helpful for me I can't and, and even Gia said this in her video from marriage and motherhood I can't get so concerned about the scale I was somewhere yesterday taekwondo and one of the moms said if before long you're gonna blow away so people can see the, the weight loss um, in my face and my clothes I wore a large dress yesterday and it was too big um, so I'm not quite a medium but I'm not a large anymore so I, my body's doing things I just didn't have a good week for the scale with that being said I know what I have to do moving forward and I'm just gonna move forward I didn't have any fails this week I didn't eat anything I wasn't supposed to eat I just ate a lot of keto snacks so that was kind of my issue but again I'm putting that back to if this were my cycle week that's why I just ate a lot more than normal but anywho there it is that's my wellness Wednesday update I hope you guys are doing well on your keto journey let me know how you're doing um, Shelly is back from Shelly's home life she took off a little bit of a break to kind of get um, a career going again um, she's back to work but she's back loving all of her keto videos Tangie from Freedom Homestead I love all of her videos um, Nicole Burgess, I watch her Foodie Fridays. Keto Steve, always a good one to watch for videos. Um, Catherine Michelle, she has lovely what I ate in a day videos and some recipe stuff. I love her stuff. So I'm just keeping on with my keto journey. Um, it'll look different depending on the month or the week. So I'm, I'm okay with that. Um, this I bought from the Goodwill, this dress, and it's a large. And I think it is getting, it's too big. I wear it a couple more times, but it is big. So you know my body's doing what it's supposed to do I just didn't lose weight this week so anywho there it is I'm gonna live with it no problem let me know how you're doing down in the comments below thank you guys so much for stopping by our channel if you like it thumb it up don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time bye now